sometimes get sick of Facebook? Like you just keep accepting friend requests until one day you can't take it anymore and you have to go through and delete people until you trim it down to around 150 friends? That's a thing. It's called the Dunbar's number. It's named after anthropologist Robin Dunbar, who studied the habits of social grooming among various species of primates. Social grooming occurs as a bonding activity, when primates pick mites off each other, for example. Aside from being directly useful, the activity reinforces clicks through social bonds, thus enhancing protection from the surrounding primate society at large. Dunbar sought to find the maximum number of social relationships any primate could typically have, and found the number was relative to the size of that particular species' neocortex region of the brain. For humans, he came up with a number of around 150 relationships. In related, Roman soldiers would limit the size of armies to around 150 units. Neolithic farming communities would begin to split up if they exceeded 150 farmers. Even communes tend to be stable at around 150 members. Perhaps that's why it's so difficult to remember the names of any of the new Pokemon beyond the original 150. Social networking software, business management, law enforcement, and even militaries often consider the Dunbar number a helpful guideline for predicting human behavior. It seems that the larger a group of people becomes, the more difficult it is for individuals to feel connected within that group, and to feel good about their connections to one another. This also results in a phenomenon called the bystander effect. The bystander effect suggests that the more people there are witnessing an emergency, the less likely it is for any one of them to help. If three bystanders witness a person fall into the subway tracks, for example, it's more likely that one of those three bystanders would help than if there were 30 people there. There are several different sociological factors that cause the bystander effect. Social influence occurs when the bystanders see each other doing nothing, and then subconsciously the lack of action becomes reinforced. Doing nothing becomes seen as the correct course of action. Diffusion of responsibility occurs when each person feels that due to the large number of bystanders, surely someone else will handle the emergency. Fear of liability or humiliation can also occur. This happens when bystanders are afraid that if they begin to help, someone more qualified may also arrive, and they'll be humiliated or even held liable for making the situation worse. So basically, unless you are selling concert tickets and want to take the spotlight yourself, which is a lot more like having followers, you'll probably want to keep your relationships down to around 150 or so, else you could become too shallow. Dunbar's effect, not mine.